Welcome back, everybody. Time for some more last cons, the campaign this time. With some decisive, de sorry, decisive struggle. Now with audio. Maybe? After Edigu lost uh, further skirmishers against Kadir Berdi's horde, only Crimea remained for him as a place of refuge. Meanwhile, Kadir Berdi succeeded in convincing most of the important factions of the Golden Horde to join him. Only the Nogai Horde was unconvinced and continued to support Edigu, who was held in high esteem among the Nogais. Kadir Berdi realized that he would have to defeat them as well in order to reach Edigu, who would fight until he breathed his last. To defeat the Emir and the Nogais, Kadir Berdi would need powerful allies. In 1419, the young Khan reached a crossroads. Should he stand by the Lithuanians, uh, to whom he owed so much, or should he renege and seek out another ally? Oh man, now we're the ones doing the betrayal. Anyway, apparently uh, in DE you need to restart your game to get voice lines. So I think maybe we'll have in-game voice lines? South Russia, eastern shore of the Volga River. My Khan, we were finally able to locate Prince Edigu's hiding place. That cowardly rat is hiding in Crimea. There he is. Is far from being deprived of power, for the Nogai Horde continues to stand by him. We will need strong allies to win the battle ahead. I guess we do. Oh, we have to choose. Okay, so choose which faction you want to ally against Edigu and the Nogai Horde. If you want to continue your alliance with the Lithuanians, send chat command 200. And Ostrakhan, send 250. You're restricted to a pop limit of 160. I assume we can reach Imperial Age. Uh, the Crimea, Edigu's final place of refuge, can be attacked from both land and sea. If you want to attack by constructing a fleet, you should build docks in the west uh, of the map. The eastern side of the Crimea is full of steep cliffs, so disembarking there is impossible. Uh, you can continue your alliance with the Lithuanians, but you could also make a pact with the Ostrakhan Khanate instead. Teaming up with the Lithuanians will make it easier for you to access to sea, but allying the Ostrakhan Khanate is also worthwhile, for the Khanate will regularly send you tribute. Uh, Kadir Berdi's Horde has assembled to the northeast. Uh, recently, some Volga Bulgar clans have made their abode in the derelict trade route in the north. Uh, could enslave their villagers, feels bad, man. The east of the map is controlled by the Ostrakhan Khanate which seems interested in forming an alliance with Kadir. The Khanate's army consists of camels, cav archers, light cav, and skirmishers. They also construct some more vessels. To the west is the well-fortified Lithuanian border town. Uh, the Lithuanians are willing to continue supporting Kadir if he so wishes. The Lithuanians will send infantry crossbows and heavy cavalry into battle. In addition, they have a small war fleet. The Nogai Horde remains loyal to Edigu and controls the land route to the Crimea. Uh, they heavily... They have a heavily fortified base guard by Mangudai and Light Cavalry. The Nogais will presumably also construct powerful siege weapons such as trebuchets. Furthermore, the Nogai Horde has a well-equipped navy to watch over the western coast. And then Edigu is in the south. Sounds fine to me. So I suppose we go to one of these factions now. And I'm going to go to the Lithuanians because they helped us out, man. Wait. Oh, is there... A Oh, wait, I have to just have a chat command. That's right. Um, 200. Also, I don't think I need to be tributed stuff. We can boom ourselves. And this seems like it'll give us better access to the ocean. We Muslim nomads should stand united. But you squander yourself upon the Christian rulers. Feels bad, man. We are enemies, Kadir. Well, I guess we get a couple of moms to show our devotion to nomad Muslims or something. Kappa. To additional technologies uh, if we defeat Astrakhan! Anyway, these guys seem to have a pretty powerful uh, little town over here.
But yeah, you know, they gave us some elite latest. Have settled in this area. Maybe we can persuade some of their villagers to join our horde. Perhaps their inhabitants can be persuaded to join us. Oh, these guys, they are not in for a good time. Oh, we are neutral with them, so we won't auto-engage their uh, villagers. But uh, I don't think these guys are going to be much of a threat. Yeah, all right, let's start converting. Oh, they have a TC too. Oh wait, how do we get resources? Okay, so we have to defeat both Edigu and the No Guy. Okay, so we just have to convert at least four villagers. So we'll just wait until we have our uh, faith back. And we'll go do that. Already? And here we go. <laughs> Naturally. Um <laughs> Oh, that that is the exact voice line from uh Genghis Khan too. When you uh get the uh the tight chudes. Love audio cutouts. So yeah, we ourselves are in Castle Age, even though we don't seem to have any Feudal Age techs. Yeah, that's kind of a uh, mildly annoying, but at least we can add some additional town centers. Pop limits a little bit higher. And yeah, I guess we will defeat Ostracon! I assume historically uh, that that's what Kadir Berdi did. Was, or was ally with, uh, you know, the Ostracon Khanate. So we'll just start by getting our eco up and rolling. Let's see what this map has to offer. So the navy is in green, and the army horde is also in green for maximum confusion. Don't make me come over there, Kadir! Uh, need some better wood lines. Guess we'll just put the TC over here. Oh, these guys are debating with the relic. I was gonna, I was gonna get that relic. So where'd my sheep go? I thought I sent a bunch of sheep over. Did the Lithuanians jack those too? Probably. But it looks like they're actively playing. Like they're actively gonna try and help us out. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to complain. Whoa, these guys don't look like nomad. They look like sedentary folk.
I assume it would behoove us to go and attack Crimea by the river because, you know, this looks pretty threatening. We've got Elite Mangadai already. Maybe I just need a new headset. This one is pretty old that I'm using. Hey, there's another relic. That's kind of far away. Okay, it looks like they are just, like, they reached Imperial Age at one second as well. So they don't have any imp techs yet. And with the help of Lithuanians, we're really getting most of the map explored right away. Um, I wonder if there's anything over that way. Because if there isn't... Spread out! What was that voice like? Spread out! Guys! Spread out, man! Anyway, let's start collecting some stones so we can start getting into Mangadai. Yeah, nothing over here. So really... Um, we have this choke point that we have to defend, and then, like, this area, which can be walled off. Then we'll actually have kind of a, a whole safe place to boom. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I am going to get a stable. We can make, a, our resource distribution is such that we can make some step lancers if need be, because I assume we're going to be under attack right now. He said, as he was already under attack. Go, Militia, go! Uh, Cyan, the Ostracon Khanate, is still in Castle Age, thankfully. Oh, I wonder, I guess Edigu might be actually playing as well. That might be annoying. Like, I just assumed it was a, a dummy AI with a bunch of host imp units. That seems to be pretty popular. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna need to get some stuff here. Oh, wait, can my... Can my hero guy cut your bear die? Uh, no, he cannot. He definitely cannot. <laughs> Good thing that wasn't close. So, um, over here? Oh, here they are. Ulug Muhammad. So, okay, that was a little bit of an initial scare, but uh, we seem to be doing all right. And then once you get a castle up, we'll be, uh, you know, even more set. Wait, I just realized, is that a dock? It says it's a tent, but it looks like a dock. Anyway, we're making some step lancers just to, you know, defend ourselves. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Kadir Berdy. Um, even if I wanted to use him, I probably couldn't, at least not well, because uh, he was... He, like, was a given to us. He, we didn't start with him. And therefore, he doesn't receive any upgrades. So he's just kind of plus one, plus one forever and ever. And also, the Lithuanians are a lot closer to us than are the Astrakhan Khanate. So it makes even more sense to ally with them. Okay, we have enough for a castle right now, so we're gonna go get one. And yes, we can go to the Imperial Age. A battle! I guess, uh... The no-guy horde is coming toward us. Oh yeah, we need to be careful not to overboom. Probably should stop with the villagers after this. But we got ourselves a castle. And that is well. Let's get some other Mangudai upgrading buildings, as Mangudai and Siege will of course be our game plan. Wait, does Ulug Muhammad have to survive? Doesn't look like it. Is that a petard? Got an imp. Ooh, that is an onager. Um. Okay, I think that actually does wall it off completely. We need to, do need to deal with those guys. We are spread out absolutely everywhere over here. No! I need that! Yeah, I mean, most of the, the reinforcements I'm getting are uh, dying, but that's fine. They actually would get upgrades. But, um, Bungles are, are plenty strong as is. And besides, they're my favorite Civ. I want to use me some uh, Manga Dai if I can. My favorite unit, man! Just try and make sure this is fully walled. Then we're going to be full walled. Nice and safe, happy go fun time. Get that, and that. Already got all those other upgrades. Get leather archer armor. Out of stone. There's more over here, though. Out of gold. Uh, there was some, like, way over here we should be able to take pretty freely. Coolio. Little bit low on... Gold. Get some markets over here in case we need to trade. I assume they have a market. I would assume wrong. Oh, never mind, they do. And here they are. Actually, they're trading with the no-guy horde. Those treacherous bastards. Is that walled? I'm gonna do that just in case. Oh, there's more gold over here. And I can tell already that I have uh, way too many farmers. <laughs> I 
We'll get those guys back on stone. And we'll just round out our tech tree until we can go for Siege Ram plus Elite Mangudai, and then we should steamroll most everybody. Although we might need to attack Crimea from the sea. I'm not too sure yet. We shall see. Oi! Actually, let's not block the path too much. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I definitely don't need any more food income. Get Elite Mangudai. Oh. I wonder what, what additional technologies we get if we uh, defeat the no guy horde. God damn it. I was hoping they would ignore me. Oh, not the no guy horde, sorry. Um, the Ostracon Conate. Also known as the Ostraconate. Ha ha. Those are trebuchets. Dash is very excited about something. Let's not lose castles. And I did lose a bunch of villagers as well, just because I'm dumb. What else is new, though? Oh, that's awkward. Mix in some light cav, I guess. bit of a tricky hold, but we're getting there just fine. Just had to send a few more villagers into the meat grinder. And by had to, I mean just kind of did because I wasn't really paying attention. So uh, go get masonry though. And siege engineers. But we're, we are rounding out our tech tree, so once uh, that's all done, we'll pretty much just be good to go. In fact, I think we've got all the essentials. Everything for our Mangudai and Siege Rams. Oh, except Drill. My bad. Ooh, I am going to need some more stone, though. Almost afford that. Oh yeah, see Lithuania is helping us out here. Look at him go. These gold mines should also open up to us a bit more. I guess that one already kind of is, but even more. Trebuchets don't exist. Maybe I need to get that from Ostracon. Oh, 
Well, I'm bored. Let's go. Let's get a bunch more Elite Mangu Dai's reinforcements. Mix in Hussars as we can. Just for, uh, you know, something like a meat shield. Those are keeps. But uh, these guys are still Castle Age. Somehow with heavy camels. Cheaters! Kip jocks. Mega turbo cheaters. Uh, let's get this castle in a bit of a more forward position. All that stuff. Still have some elite genbos alive, which is nice. Really don't have that great access to wood. But yeah, I wonder what we get. I assume we'll get access to trebuchets. Other than that, though, I'm not too sure. Forget about these guys. Well, we're making headway with uh, Cyan. Oh, we are out of stone. Let's go mine more of that. Some more stables for some more Hussar. Also, need more villagers again. Out of gold over there, but we can go over here. And these guys are indeed getting what's coming to them. I guess we could go by water, but we need to defeat the land army anyway, so let's just start by doing that. Also, let's get a little bit more efficient wood income. Well, let's keep going. Keep the show a moving. And we are out of stone. I at least don't think they give us even more stone to mine. Oh, never mind. Guess they did. Anyway, the sea drams are destroying most absolutely everything. And there we go. 
such is the fate of those who oppose Kadir Khan. Silk armor and bombard cannon. Okay, so that's not trebuchet, but that is bombard cannon. Maybe you'd be get trebuchet and something else if we uh, defeat Lithuania. Definitely let me know what you get for uh, allying with Ostrakhan uh, in the comments. Another forward castle. A few more farmers. Such is the vengeance of the great Khan. Oh, look at that lovely ram train. Well, there's a uh, Edigu. But we have to defeat everybody. Oh, we get drill bombard cannons, I just realized. Feels good, man. Get another forward castle. Just keep on trucking. Oh, they got some relics too. Hi. Hey, disaster. Oh, hey, we have a bunch of hussars over here. I get some more forward workshops. Just use bombard cannons. Where are mine? I thought I had more than one. Maybe I lost it. Clear out that tower. Still need a bit more wood income. Ah, here's another Bombard Cannon. I could just try ta- no, they already have Elite Cannon Galleons. Otherwise I was thinking about maybe towering where the, uh, the warships are. Oh, here's Edigu. That's repaired. Well, we got silk armor, man. All right, we fended off those guys, no problem.
I really need more wood income. Uh, the Mangadai numbers have definitely seen better days. Really need to get these docks, because I'm pretty sure the Navy is just, you know, more or less infinitely spawning ships. Okay, so Edigu's uh, down here. Looks like some of the warships are his as well. Let's get some more bombard cannons. Get him. Got him. I guess we can open the gate for our ally. Open the gate. Close the gate. Oh, there we go. It's Sari? Yeah. Uh, now I just need to finish up the navy. I just assume we need to destroy all their docks. Is it really pronounced Sari? Then why is it spelled Sarai? Rather, why is it romanized Sarai? Seems silly. Alright. I think we got all their docks. Maybe they have some more over here. Anyway, this should just be one big tug-of-war thing that we shouldn't have any issues winning. With our fully upgraded elite Mangudai that also have silk armor. And then Edigu. Oh man, he's in for a rough time. Oh, he's all the way down here. Oh, there goes the Navy. Yeah! Tatars actually have pretty crappy castles. They don't have, um... Hoardings or masonry. Or uh, architecture, they do have masonry. So, they're the same as Hun and Japanese castles, for instance. In terms of general crappiness. Um, I don't know, go kill a castle, Mangadai. That's what you do best, right? Up oh, there he is. There she is! This time she won't escape! There we go. Oh hey, we got we got everything. You have brought to the horde. Yes. Why are there fish here? Such is the <laughs> I thought I already used that one. I thought I already used that one, man. There we go. That was fun. That was a good one. 
you know, pretty straightforward, but uh, I don't know. I thought it was still fairly challenging. It wasn't too hard, obviously. I don't know. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Good classic bassy scenario. Uh, pretty sick KD. The no guy horde, I guess, gave us the biggest trouble. Yeah, definitely let me know what uh what happens if you ally with Ostracon. I, I would assume you get trebuchets from uh, the Lithuanians and maybe like plate barding or something. Anyway, that was a decisive struggle. And next up, and I believe lastly, will be the Battle of Sarai. Sari, whatever. See you guys next time. <laughs>